This is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see the arrays in C. Uh, before explaining what is an array and how we can use it in our programs, uh, let me explain you where we can use it. So, if you create a normal variable, then we can store only one value at a time. If you want to store another value, then you have to create another variable and you know save that value in that uh, variable. Uh, suppose if you have to store the row number of 100 students then you have to create 100 variables and uh, you know as in that values so if the size increases suppose uh, you know you have to store that 1000 uh, uh, row numbers then uh, you know creating 1000 variables and uh, assigning the values is uh, not the preferred method for that purpose we can use arrays in C so we can say that an array is a collection of similar elements so these similar elements can be of type integer or floating point or character or any other data type. So now we can we're gonna see how we can um, uh, create an array in our program and use it. So uh, similar to creating a variable, you no know, to use a variable we have to declare it. Similarly to use an array we have to declare it. And first we we're gonna write the type of data that's gonna be stored in the array. Uh, just note that in uh, in an array we can store only one type of uh, data so if you have an array of integers then you can only store the integer uh, types of data in that array so in this example we're gonna uh, create an array added to store the marks of our one exam or six subjects so it's gonna be of type integers so I'm gonna write int then we have to write the array name it's gonna be marks and a, a semicolon in between the square brackets we have to specify the size of array so in this example we're gonna store you know six values or the six marks that's gonna be um, you know the size of six so save it so next we're gonna see how we can store the data in this array before that let me tell you uh, when this compiler executes this statement it's gonna create uh, uh, six position or location to store the values for this marks array so we're gonna have uh, six locations uh, to store the uh, values in arrays the first location is considered as the zeroth position so it's not gonna start from one to six it's gonna be from zero to five since this array elements are number from zero our first element will be at the position zero and the last element will be one less than this size that's gonna be five and now we're gonna see how we can store the value in this array to store the value is similar to assigning you no know, values to a variable first we're gonna write this array name and within this we are gonna specify the location so since we are gonna store the value in the first position we're gonna specify zero that's because you know array uh, numbering star from zero then we have to uh, specify the number now uh, here I'm gonna save 35 then similarly uh, if you want to store another value then it's gonna be at the position 1 and we're gonna assign it to a value of 45 so similarly we can uh, do for you know z uh, 2 3 and 4 and 5 but uh, this arrays provides another easy way to initialize it uh, I'm gonna delete this and here after you know we specify this array type and size of this array we're gonna write an equal to sign and within this curly braces we have to write the values but, uh, separated by commas so I'm gonna write 35 um, comma 45 comma 55 comma 65 or 75 and 85 so here we are storing six values and uh, they will be as into uh, marks of 0, marks of 1 and up to marks of 5 anyway just for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna create another array of type float then uh, I'm gonna call uh, or give it a name average uh, to store the average of you know around um, 2 students it's gonna be the size of our average array is gonna be 2 so here I'm gonna write uh, okay it's gonna be average then here at the first location we're gonna save and floating point value is gonna be uh, 65.5 then uh, at the average of 1 uh, we're gonna 
save a value of uh, 75.8 another thing I wanna tell you is if you are initializing array using this method then you don't have to or you know it's not necessary to specify a size here you can leave it blank let's see how we can uh, uh, retrieve the values from this array now we're gonna write a printf to print the values and we're gonna print this um, value of 35 we're gonna write this percentage d uh, a new line then uh, uh, add a comma and you know uh, first we're gonna write this array name then within the square brackets we have to specify the position since this 35 will be stored in the position 0 we have to use 0 here I'm gonna copy this and uh, paste it two more times so in a second printf we're gonna uh, print the value at the position um, 0 1 2 3 so our fourth value will be at the third position in the array that's gonna be 0 1 2 3 so in the last print of statement we're gonna print this last value that's gonna be 85 which is present at the location pi in the array so save it compile it and run it so as you can see we have printed 35 that's you know the first value which is at the position 0 then 65 that's the fourth value which is at the position um, 3 and 85 which is the sixth value that's at the position um, Five, close it. Uh, similarly, we can uh, print the uh, thi print this you know a floating point value here. Uh, here we have to specify this percentage f uh, format specified for the floating point value. Then we're gonna refer this you know average array, and we're gonna write uh, which value we want we want to print. We want to print this uh, sixty five point five, which is at the position zero. So I'm gonna specify here. Save it compile it and run it so as you can see here you know this 65.500 is gonna be from you know this average array so let's have a recap what we have you know learned uh, till now so first we created an array so an array is a collection of similar elements so in this example we have uh, created this integer array so we can only store this integer types of data in this array uh, we can initialize this array using uh, this this method or we can initialize you know using uh, uh, this method so if you are using uh, you know this uh, uh, curly braces and you are writing the values then uh, uh, you don't have to specify the size here the compiler will automatically allocate the size for you this is how we can assign the values to this array to print or access the value from that array we have to specify the location where from where we want to get the data so here this arrays are uh, positioning star from 0 and it's not from 1 so the size or the last element in the array will be present at the position 1 less than the size of the array so this is it this is about the arrays and uh, in the next tutorial we're gonna see some more information about these arrays thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel